the batting average or the average score of a batsman after 50 innings is 46.4 okay so this is a question on average and average ke liye main sabse basic formulas abhi likh raha hu ab zara dhyan dena average is sum upon number sum of observation upon number of observations and from here can i derive one more formula that is the sum of observations is actually average into number i hope you are following this now what can be done here please pay attention it says the average after 15 innings is 46.5 so can i say the sum total or the total runs in 50 innings is given by average that is 46.4 into the number of innings which is 50 so if i simplify this a point has had here this is 464 into 5 is actually 464 into 10 by 2 so this is 232 i hope aap ise follow kar pa rahe ho clear hai chal so this becomes the total summation as 2320 all right now let's talk about another aspect bola ja raha hai after 60 innings the average score increases by 2.6 can i say the sum for 60 innings average increases by 2.6 initial average is 46.4 plus 2.6 is actually 49.0 so ab mere liye average aa gaya hai 49 and how many innings 60 so this is 49 into 60 96 54 64 24 into 940 so this is 2940 acha aap mujhe batao agar sum samajhna टोटल ऑफ सिक्सटी इनिंग्स में उसने टू नाइन फोर जीरो रन बनाए टोटल ऑफ फिफ्टी इनिंग्स में उसने टू थ्री टू जीरो रन बनाए तो वट इज द सम टोटल ऑफ टेन इनिंग्स और ये टेन इनिंग्स इंक्लूडेड है फ्रॉम फिफ्टी फर्स्ट फिफ्टी सेकेंड गोइंग अप टू द सिक्सटी एथ इनिंग क्या हो जाएगा दोनों का डिफरेंस ले लो दैट इज टू नाइन फोर जीरो माइनस टू थ्री टू जीरो which is 620 runs what was his average in the last 10 innings the sum in the last 10 innings is 620 the number is 10 what should be the average aap mujhe batao average for the last 10 innings is sum of 10 innings upon the number the number is 10 so 620 upon 10 the answer is 62 and that is the average for the last 10 innings option c is our correct fit now there are shortcuts to look at this question but as of now we can always go with the basic method as well it is advisable ki agar aisa kuch question aa raha hai zyada time nahi lagta to aap is method se bhi ise solve kar sakte ho but yeah you can always use the deviation method as well to look at a question on average